Good morning everyone. Now I'm not in my usual place today. I'm actually in the centre of Balkan Regis. Now I grew up near here in a village called Barnum and um, uh, this was my closest town so I was come here for um, to do shopping ever since I was a kid. Um, something is going on here in this town which is going on all over the country, in fact all over the world and we've spoken about and I've spoken about on my channel many many times and that is the war on cash that is happening. Um, people are trying to get rid of cash and make it much much harder for people to use cash and uh, banks are complicit in this. Now, in my town at the moment, well, Bognor Regis, I say my town, okay, I, I stood here for Parliament actually in 2019, and I'm going to stand here again in this constituency of Bognor Regis and Little Hampton in 2024 when the election happens for the Heritage Party. So, yeah, that's my town. Um, I grew up here and uh, I do live here now. I lived in London for a long time, I moved out, and now I'm here. Lovely Bognor Regis. Um, but you know, back to the point of what I'm saying here um, there is a war on cash going on. Now, in Bognor at the moment, there are four banks. Um, there's Barclays, there's Lloyd's, there's NatWest, and there's Santander. But today is Wednesday, the 9th of August, and I'm just walking up to Barclays. I'm sorry that the writing's the wrong way around because I'm just look, you're filming myself here. But um, there's a notice here. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try and uh, put it in the, in the video frame. It's the wrong way around, but I'll, I'll photograph it and um, put it up. Now, basically what this says is this bank is closing today. The branch of Barclays in Bognor Regis that's been here ever since I was a kid, you know, 50, 60, 70 years, I don't know when it opened, you know, maybe 100 years ago, it's closing today. So no one will be able to go and access banking services here in Bognor Regis anymore. Um, and this is not just happening here, it's happening all over the country. So it's closing at 12 o'clock. I'm making this at 10 to 12. So for the very last time, uh, in 10 minutes, this door is gonna close and this bank branch will shut. Um, so Bognor Regis is a town of 65,000 people in the area around, obviously about 80,000 people um, might rely on the banks in this town. They won't have. Uh, this is probably the biggest and busiest branch of any bank and it's been here for a long time and people won't be able to use it anymore. Now, this doesn't affect me at all because um, you know I, I do online banking. I only need to get a little bit of cash out of the cash machine every week or so to um, you know <laughs> do my everyday spending. But um, what is also happening with this branch, when this closes, you can actually see there's, there's a couple of cash machines here. I've used these many, many times <laughs> over many decades. And um, it says here, sorry, again, it's the wrong way around. We're sorry this machine is temporarily out of order. I very much doubt that this machine is ever going to come back into order. And the other one here also says, we're sorry this machine is temporarily out of order. So there is also a notice further up that says um, the if you want cash <laughs> machine facilities, you can go up to the nationwide um, building society just up the road. So it looks like these cash machines are going to be uh, closed down permanently, not temporarily, as it says. So we've got two things here, fewer cash machines because one of the branches, the, the most, one of the most used bank branches serving tens of thousands of people is closing today. And also you will not be able to go in, get your cash out. You won't be able to get cash out of machines. This really affects businesses very, very badly, especially businesses who want to keep on using cash. See, for me as a person, as I said, it doesn't affect me too much. But if you're a business and you can't access cash, it makes it much more difficult for you to use cash every day in your business. Banks and the government and the World Economic Forum, the Bank of International Settlements, they all want you to go digital and they want businesses to go digital. They want to get rid of cash for you know, everybody and they're doing this slowly and coercively and bank closures are part of this program 
and they're part of what <laughs> the, the sort of general move to get this to happen so small businesses need to go to banks to deposit cash that they receive in payments they also need to go to the banks and get a float of change and so on so that they've got change to give to people who want to pay in cash when they're not able to go to a bank branch because it's closed then they won't be able to use that service so it's going to make it much more difficult because if you bank with Barclays now you have to go either six miles up the road to Chichester to your nearest Barclays bank branch in order to receive cash to get cash to pay in cash to take out cash to have us change to give to people who want to use cash in your business so it's going to make it a lot more difficult for a lot of small businesses and medium-sized business and retail outlets to do that which I think is totally wrong now I've just walked out the road here I said there's four branch four banks in this town and um, I just walked up here you can see I'm just outside NatWest just up the road and uh, in NatWest I'm going to back up here you can see on the door I'm sorry again it's the wrong way around but um, there's another notice it's just moved <laughs> it doesn't want you to see it it's on the sliding door there you go <laughs> It actually is, oh, I think I'm doing that by just being here. This bank is closing on the 28th of September. So this branch, this branch of Nat West in Bognor Regis is also closing um, a month and a half after Barclays is closing, meaning there's only going to be two left. Uh, Lloyd's, which is uh, just over the road there somewhere behind me. <laughs> somewhere behind that sign and Santander which you walked uh, past on the way up here so two of the four banks in this town are closing which means it's much harder for people to use cash uh, and particularly businesses this is um, comes on the news of what we've seen just happen earlier this week in Australia where uh, the main banks acted in concert together to um, limit people's access to cash um, in a lot of urban centres in Australia like Sydney and Melbourne um, but this is happening here in a small town and I imagine if it's happening here this is happening in a lot of other small towns around the UK as well so I'm just making this video because I know this is going on here and um, it's wrong you know the banks have been bailed out with hundreds of billions of pounds in the financial crisis in 2008 um, they are now making record profits because interest rates are going up and of course every time that happens they put the interest rates on mortgages up way before they put the interest rates on savings accounts up so they make a lot of money uh, in that way whenever this happens so this year they've got record profits and yet they're still um, then getting rid of a vital service to people who want cash because cash is freedom and are making it harder for people who want to continue uh, to have the freedom to use cash so this is happening and um, it'll be if you see this I'm sorry I'm not in my normal place I'm on a walkabout so it's, it's a little bit different um, I've never done this before so it's quite interesting doing this but if you see this um, you know let me know uh, if similar things are happening in your towns, your cities, around the country um, and uh, if you are noticing any bank branches closing um, over the next month, the next month and so on. Now, you know what, it's two minutes to 12. So I'm just going to finish this video off by walking back up to the Bognor Regis Barclays Bank branch and um, see what happens at 12 o'clock and uh, this ah, there you go. so there's there's the uh, main London road behind me where it's sort of a pedestrian <laughs> pedestrian road you go shopping there there's a nice arcade there you can also go and have a nice little um, <laughs> or people waving at me they think I'm famous or something <laughs> making a video um, yeah so that's that's a nice little arcade look actually this is lovely because this arcade I'll show you they've uh, 
decked it out with Union flags. Isn't that beautiful? The arcade with the uh, pot plants and Union flags, that's absolutely lovely for the summer. So whoever's done that, that's a really lovely touch. You can come and have a look if you come here and stay in Butlins on holiday or something, or come down for the day. Right, so I'm just gonna walk back up to this bank here that is shutting its doors today after decades of being open and uh, serving the people of Bognor Regis with their banking needs and is, is just about to shut for the very last time. So there's still a couple of people in there using the machine, so I don't think they're gonna shut it until the um, very last person has come out. Actually, it might be might be half an hour or so <laughs> until they finish their business. So actually, that's, it's not going to be that interesting to sit here and watch the door for half an hour. But there you go, that's happening. And um, it's, it's an indictment of where things are going. And this is not just happening by accident. Um, this is happening by design. And if we don't want this to actually go all the way so that all the banks shut and so no one has any access to cash and uh, we all are forced to go into using digital currency we need to speak up about this now um, because this is happening and the proof is right here so let me know what's going on around the country if anything's happening and um, we can all hopefully speak up raise our voices and say we don't want this to happen we want to keep access to cash and uh, oh there we go looks like this is it for the very last time someone is there about to shut the door and lock the door and uh, never let anybody in again it's a very very sad day for you know something that uh, has always been there so I'll stay here for a couple more minutes there you go There's the last customer. And uh, this branch of Barclays that I've used many, many times over many, many years is now shut forever. <laughs>